What's up? It's the Honey Yards with Bumpus. Today we get to talk to Jacob Hollister. Jacob, thanks for yeah, coming out, man. Appreciate you having me, man. Yeah. So you were an undrafted free agent. Undrafted. I, I was an undrafted free agent. Okay. So I had a little chip on my shoulder. I used it as motivation. Oh, yeah. You do the same? Oh, always. Yeah, me and my brother, it's just, it's always motivation for sure. So you and your brother, that's crazy. Right. You guys both come in the league. You play on the same team for a year. Yeah. Did you guys talk about that as kids growing up? Like, hey, we'd love oh, to we, play with you in the league. We always talked about it, yeah. Because I was, I was always playing quarterback. He played receiver. So yeah. we were in the backyard about every day playing catch. And we'd always talk about it. But those Super Bowl scenarios in there, so it was fun. Nice little chemistry. Yeah, always the chemistry. So you go from New England to Seattle. Yeah. You go from Bill Belichick to Pete Carroll. Kind of two different personalities. Yeah. What was that transition like? They're totally different, for sure. This, it's, uh, even the programs in general, I feel like, um, I've said it before, it feels like two people just with totally different personalities. So mm -hmm. uh, the way that they approach it is different, but yeah. the goal is the same at the end of the day. And yep. I just love being here. It's been awesome. Yep. Yeah. So you grew up in Oregon. You're yeah. a Northwesterner. Yeah. Did you grow up liking the Seahawks? Did you wish you, know, you wanted to play for them as a kid? I always grew up uh, watching the Seahawks. Yeah, I was, I was always a college guy growing up because we don't have a pro team in Oregon. Yeah. But Seahawks were always the closest team, so we always followed them pretty close. So you've gone from, you started in Oregon, went to Nevada, uh, Arizona, yep. then Wyoming. Uh, what's been your favorite stop so far, as far as just like the culture and the people? Yeah, and stuff? It's, uh, it's tough because it was totally, they were all so different. And I think JUCO was a time um, that was a grind for sure uh -huh. that year there. But I feel like that was a time that I got built up uh, just as a man, as a player. And it was just such a grind with those guys over there that everyone's doing the same thing every day. So I feel like that was one of my favorite times. Yeah. Yeah. So you're a Super Bowl champion already. Yeah. Been there, done that. Do you see any similarities between this team and your Super Bowl championship team? The competitiveness is just uh, a similarity I see in both teams. And mm -hmm. um, how close these guys are is just... Uh, you really can't beat it. It's really a family culture over here. So uh, I think that's something that just makes this team so special. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Super Bowl champion. Yeah. Says there's a chance here in Seattle. Michael Bombas, Honey Arts and Bombas. Thanks for joining, All right, man. Bro. Appreciate, Appreciate you. you. What up? Yes, sir. All right, bro.